Good afternoon, it's Wednesday, and that's What The Health Wednesday. Today I wanted to chat with you about three little remedies that will either help you work your way through this cold and sick season, or they might just help you get completely over them or nip something that's about to come at you in the bud. The first thing I want to start out with is something that will help you breathe better at night if you're sleeping. And this is an especially great remedy if you've got little ones that maybe you don't feel that good about putting um, Vicks or something on their chest. Maybe you've got a really young infant and they've got some congestion going on. Well, something really easy to do is to take a couple of cloves of garlic, crush them up, usually two to three good sized pieces of garlic, and then crush them up really good and put them either in some pantyhose or um, a knee high that you've only got one left of. I've also used a little a kid's sock. Um, you could use a piece of muslin. Um, if you've got one of those little jewelry bags that smash, that's a great thing to use too. Just something that's going to let the air move um, through whatever it's in and let kind of the fumes of the garlic come out. Now, if you don't like the smell of garlic, this is not going to be a good remedy for you because your room or your child's room is going to smell like a wonderful Italian kitchen. Uh, but it's a great way to get the chest to open up and to help with breathing throughout the night for either you, your baby, or your child. The second remedy I want to share with you, and this is again something that we use to head off a cold or when we start to feel um, the congestion and stuff come up in our chest or in our face. So what we love to do is get some boiling water and fill up your favorite mug and then take some ginger, fresh ginger, and grate it off into the cup. I let this steep for 10 minutes and then if you've got particulars in your family that cannot and will not stand the ginger taste, then you could add a little bit of honey. Uh, but most of my crew can take it alone. So we just use the ginger in the water, let it cool off to a point that they can stand it. So pour the water over, um, we've got a couple of little sifting containers, but you want to sift the ginger out of the water and then serve either to yourself or your to, to your little one. And even my 18 year old son, the first time I gave this to him, he was so amazed that something as simple as raw ginger in a cup of wa hot water could just open him up and completely shut down and kind of the cold, sicky feelings for him. The last thing I want to chat with you about is actually um, a little controversial um, in that it deals with ingesting essential oils. Now, I'm not an essential oil guru. I'm not an essential oil salesperson. I don't do any of that. My mom does the young living thing and she used to be real active with it and now she's kind of active with it when people get her excited about it but a remedy that she brought home and that i've got to be honest with i didn't i didn't research it that well it's something that she brought home she wanted us to try and in order to be supportive of her we just all jumped on the bandwagon and did uh, I know that there's a lot of controversy around ingesting oils. Most of the oils that um, go into this um, are, you know, by what she understands, ingestible. But I'm not a doctor. I'm not um, a professional. So if you don't feel comfortable ingesting oils, then do not ingest oils. But a remedy that has really become like the rock in our medicine cabinet when it comes to not feeling good or wanting to kick a bug in its butt is what my mom calls immune honey. And basically what it consists of is raw honey that's unfiltered, um, not the cutesy kind that comes in the little bear jar, but some actual um, raw unfiltered honey. So we usually do it in a jelly jar about this big, which equates to about a half cup of of raw honey. The next three ingredients are a peppermint essential oil, a lemon essential oil, and thieves. So what we do is we fill our container about halfway up with the honey and then we add 10 drops of the lemon, the peppermint, and the thieves to the mid-level um, 
mark of the honey and then we use a toothpick to stir 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 and my mom usually does it with one of the children and so they all try to get in 10 stirs for each of the 10 drops of each of the oils that go in there. Then we add the rest of the honey up to the line of the jelly jar and we stir, stir, stir another 30 times. And then what we do is something, if, if somebody has a sniffle, if somebody starts to get a little cough or somebody says they don't feel so great, our first line defense usually is to get a teaspoon of this honey. Now, if you don't, like honey my youngest loves this remedy but if you don't like it something that you could also do is take that dollop of honey and add it to a cup of warm water and have it as kind of a tea also but those are three little remedies that we use to keep us healthy to give us a first line defense and to get us over the hump and anything that's bothering us and for the most part uh, we have about one antibiotic prescribed per all seven of us, maybe once a year. So we really keep down the level of sickness in our house um, just by using these basic remedies. So I hope these are helpful to you and they can make anything that you've got going on this season a little bit easier to bear or that they help you get over it even faster than you thought possible. So have the best day ever and thanks so much for tuning in.